Let's get chaotic. Hey cuties, Peachy here. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, yes, we have our first look at the brand new Batman 85th anniversary new Barbie signature dolls of Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn. So stay tuned, subscribe, and let's get into it. Okay, so we already had leaks of the concept art of these dolls releasing uh, this year. And finally, we actually get to see the full-on dolls revealed themselves. Now, these two dolls, are releasing in time celebrating the 85th anniversary i know so 85 years like oh my god of batman the comic so that's amazing um so obviously we have harley quinn and poison ivy a uh, part of these um this release i guess uh it does suck obviously that we don't have catwoman here or like other characters especially like again i mean i do understand poison ivy and harley they have a special bond they have a specific relationship in the comics and in the series you know like all that they do have like a romantic uh, relationship obviously so obviously i get that them only releasing these two characters it makes sense obviously <laughs> obviously but uh, i also think you know to complete the you know gotham city sirens you obviously oh my god i keep saying obviously but you do need catwoman uh, you, you, yeah you need catwoman so i i do think um if it would have been so cool if they could have also included catwoman just because i do think um it would have been so cool to see them all together as a group you know it, yeah but yeah it's okay so these dolls are going to be priced at 55 us dollars and they are up already early on mattel creations only for members um and they are going to release also on other retailers like amazon walmart target etc et so that's really good because even though they do seem to be gold label um it doesn't seem that they have like a limited quantity kind of deal so it doesn't seem that they are going to be uh you know out of stock and if they are you know it seems that they are not limited so they will have enough you know quantity of them so that's really good like they're mass produced basically um that's really good because obviously oh my god ah, <laughs> uh, i really want to get them i want to get them really badly and i think them not being like a limited quantity will definitely also make them easily easily more accessible to so many more more people um and especially because they are dolls based on famous characters like you know poison ivy harley quinn um that's really great because i think obviously I don't know, I, every like everyone you know a lot of people have connections to these characters so let's get into the dolls individually okay we have to start with harley quinn here herself um she looks wow she looks really good uh my first impression when i saw her was wow I'm, I'm amazed like the face the face looks amazing she looks like harley quinn for sure the expression the makeup with the blue and like the red smeared eyeshadow i mean come on that is so harley um and then i also like the pigtails how you know because obviously they're using different iterations from harley as a character to you know make this outfit and design for the doll so i like how we not only have like the mismatched red and black uh, color scheme going on with the outfit but also which that's very classic Harley but we also have the hints of pink and blue in her pigtails you know that's also because that's very specifically taken from the David Ayer I believe Suicide Squad movie where Margot Robbie first you know appeared as the Harley Quinn character so I think you know it's so iconic that they're taking different attributes from different um eras of Harley and putting them into this one doll it really works so well to make her look the most um you know modern version of herself uh the pigtails the blue and pink the black and red the outfit itself just looks so Harley with the pads on the shoulders you know like the knees um the socks the shoes she has her uh hammer or what like the mallet i believe was what's what what's it called <laughs> but she has her weapon of choice um and i also like how she has the little like heart and spade symbols or whatever occurring reoccurring theme on her shorts you know top um her little belt you know her choker um her earrings like she has a lot of detail here like for sure i think love her shoes as well like so i think she's really i think out of the two 
you know, we'll talk about Poison Ivy in a second, but I think out of the two, for the original asking price of 55 US dollars, I think she is more worth the price point just because she has so many details. She has so many painted details on her accessories. Um, the accessory she includes, her weapon, you know, the face screening, the hair. I think she really just looks like Carly through and through. And she looks amazing. Like, honestly, obviously I'm going to get both of them, but I think she... And I, and I do like Poison Ivy more as a design, you know, but I think Carly, you know, I think she looks the best. So yeah, but she just looks so glam and just so mischievously amazing. <laughs> and then we have Poison Ivy and I've always, I would, I've always been a Poison Ivy fan. Um, I remember even back, you know, when I was super into Lego, cause yes, I was super into Lego. At one point I had Lego Star Wars, Lego Friends, Lego, Lego, Bionicle, everything. Um, and I collected Lego Batman sets as well. And specifically some sets I wanted to get just because there was a Poison Ivy minifigure included and I still have her <laughs> and it's just like, yeah, I was obsessed. Um, and she, she really just looks like a, an awesome character. I loved her in like, I, I liked Uma Furman's a performance as her in the batman movie i forget which one it is which one it is but she played poison ivy i loved her uh as the character and i just feel like you know poison ivy like obviously she's in a series with harley quinn you know the animated series and there are a couple in, in that series but i feel like you know live action wise we haven't really seen much uh besides you know that one performance from uma um and uh, movie we haven't really seen poison ivy in any movies so i really i've always liked her character her powers like how cool so she's always been a favorite of mine specifically and now we have a barbie official doll of poison ivy she looks so cool obviously the um eye petals are super inspired by Uma Furman's again uh, actual eye makeup that she had in the movie. I love that they actually took that as inspiration for the face screening here with the makeup, the red lips, obviously iconic. Um, I think the face sculpt that they used here fits her perfectly. And the red hair that, you know, like the fiery red looks so good. It's long, not long, not too long, but it's long enough, I think, because for Poison Ivy, she, it's always it's always been about the vanity you know like the like the long hair the luscious figure you know like the the outfit so i like how the makeup the hair it's on point you know i like the little headband as well with the vines um her earrings as well they dangle which is so cute the leaves um and then her outfit i do think the outfit does kind of like disappoint me a little bit just because all of the details are printed on like i know uh she does have a unique skin tone for her body which by the way both of harley and poison ivy's dolls um they are on the superhero body which does have a double jointed knees and um elbows but the only thing that i really don't like is that they don't have the swivel on the upper arm so they're not able to actually rotate the arms outwards so it, it just it it definitely takes away a little bit from articulation but it, i guess they wanted to give both the, both of these characters a um more realistic like must like athletic build since they are supposed to be like you know athletic i don't know <laughs> athletic characters uh but i I've, i kind of wish that they would have given them just like normal you know barbie made to move bodies um but again i digress uh but i think the outfit again for poison ivy here um it's just a little bit simple like we have the bodysuit which i do like the the cut of it with the little you know leaves right like at coming out of the top like at the thighs it, that looks nice the print is a nice print but um i think it's just it does suck a little bit that um all of the details are really just printed on uh, she does have these little sleeves i do like that as well because she's always had sleeves and like a bodysuit like it's very iconic very poison ivy um and then the tights underneath are also printed on with vine details and um once again i'm like well why couldn't they have like given her any like actual like wrapped around molded plastic vines around her her legs you know like i feel like that could have been a really nice thing uh but nope it's just all the details all the vines leaves are just printed on onto the, onto the tights um and her shoes are i do have to say i like her shoes they remind me a lot of monster high venus's shoes seriously but i like the vine details i like that they're kind of boots but they're still like very um poison ivy you know like so i think the shoes do match her um and she also has her little you know fly trap monster uh, pet <laughs> um it's not julian no, it's a new mold, but still, it looks very similar to Venus's pet uh, from Monster High. 
And then her other accessory is the crossbow that she has on her arm. Um, now, I'm not familiar with Poison Ivy ever, you know, wielding a crossbow on her arm, but I guess it's very accurate. So from the older comics, I got, I have no clue, but I, I mean, it has to make sense. It has to be from the comics, right? So yeah, I, overall, I would say Poison Ivy, I like her a lot, but just the outfit, yeah, it kind of a little bit disappointing for sure. So yeah, I think both of them are really gorgeous dolls. Yes, they are expensive for what they really are. They're not really collector, or it's it's amazing to me that they're under the gold label status. Um, when really they are more of a playline look to them, they have more of a playline look. So, uh, but they are gold label, I know. So it's uh, but at least they're not limited in quantity. So that's great thank you god <laughs> but um yeah they are collector you know like gold label dolls but they are they're giving more playline so even though that's the case i think they are really gorgeous dolls and even though they are expensive you know 55 and you know for international fans they will be more expensive but at least they will be more accessible for everyone because they will be accessible uh they will be available also on amazon um i already checked amazon germany uk they have these dolls already up for pre-order they're gonna officially drop later in um you know late october so that's a little while away but still at least they're on amazon that means people will be able to get them easily and i think that's good because it's it's just about the accessibility accessibility which is really important whenever we get um releases like these where you know it, they, if it might be you know limited or not but it might be harder to get obviously if they are only exclusive to mattel creations and especially for someone like me where i still cannot purchase items from mattel creations um this is a huge help whenever they also have these releases on amazon just because it does it it, it opens up the door to so many more people being able to purchase them so i think these two are amazing um yeah they're expensive they're lacking in detail especially poison ivy but i think they're really cute like i definitely want to get them for sure um the only other thing i guess is really the superhero body mold that they chose for these two um is not the it's not the ideal body that i would have gone with for these two characters um but i guess you know it's okay it's just it really like because i have the laverne cox barbie doll and she has the superhero body mold as well um and it's just it really it's really annoying because you can't rotate the arms outwards like you can't uh pose them in certain ways so it's just it, you know it maybe it maybe sounds like a little bit nit nitpicky nitpicky but like i i assure you if you have a doll like this you know what i mean you just can't rotate the arms outwards yes they have double jointed arms like at the elbows um and knees but it just yeah i don't even know if they have rotation at the thighs I'm not sure, but they just, they do lack in some areas of posability, but I think, yeah, they're still good. Um, and I just, and the other thing that I think would have been amazing is that they could have included Catwoman, then, you know, cause then we could have had the whole Gotham City Sirens, um, gang here, you know, how, how, how amazing would it have been to have Catwoman here as well? Um, you know, cause in her new does design, like these two, uh, it would have been so good. They would have looked so amazing together as a group, you know, but I get what they only had, uh, wh why they only went with Poison Ivy and Harley, um, because they, they, they specifically have a very, you know, unique bond. So I get that, you know, Catwoman came afterwards, I think, or I don't know, but they, you know, Gotham City Sirens came after. So, you know, it's, it's okay. I get it. But still like maybe in like a second series, <laughs> they might release Catwoman or Batgirl or like other villains. Um, just imagine how iconic that would be. But yeah, I mean, because it is the 85th anniversary of Batman. So I do think, you know, they could also release other characters in dolls, not just the villains or, you know, so that could be very interesting if they do anything else with the anniversary, you know, itself. But uh, I think these two are really cute. I will be getting them. Which one is your favorite? And what do you think? Let me know down below. I hope you all enjoyed. Leave a like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell and consider becoming a member today to support the channel if you're able to. And of course, so you don't I want to post more content like this coming your way and keeping you up to date with all the all tea you love. Stay safe, be kind. I hope this next time, stay peachy. Kisses.